नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम सून डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग हाईलाइट्स ऑफ टूडेज डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग आर दैट द नॉर्थ ईस्ट मॉनसून रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी इज लाइकली टू कमेंस ओवर तमिलनाडु कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश एंड अदर स्टेट ऑफ साउथ ईस्ट पेनसुलर इंडिया बाई अराउंड सिक्सटीन ऑफ अक्टूबर एंड अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दिस आइसोलेटेड वेरी हैवी टू एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी इज लाइकली ओवर कोस्टल तमिलनाडु एंड साउथ कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश ड्यूरिंग फिफ्टीन टू सेवनटीन ऑफ अक्टूबर एंड द वेलमार्क लो प्रेशर एरिया विच वॉज ओवर ई सेंट्रल अरेबियन सी इज लाइकली टू बिकम अ डिप्रेशन by uh, by today's evening and also a fresh low pressure area is likely to form over central parts of south bay of bengal by tomorrow so if we look into the observed weather so isolated heavy rainfall activity has been observed over uh, uh, extreme south uh, southern parts of east rajasthan uh, over the district of udaipur 9 cm rainfall has been observed and also over uh, south west mp uh, neemach station has reported 8 cm rainfall Uh, this rainfall has been uh, recorded uh, has been observed under the influence of southeasterly winds uh, uh, which are associated with the velmag low pressure area over east central arabian sea and also fairly widespread rainfall activity uh, has been observed over tamil nadu light to moderate rainfall at many places with the uh, with the very heavy rainfall at isolated places 16 cm uh, reported over uh, madurai and uh, we can see over here in this uh, picture uh, that uh, the the yellow and the uh, orange dots are uh, showing the heavy rainfall activity as well as the uh, very heavy rainfall activity now as far as southwest monsoon is concerned so today the southwest monsoon has further withdrawn uh, from the uh, from entire uh, बिहार झारखंड सिक्किम एंड वेस्ट बंगाल एंड ऑल्सो मैनी पार्ट्स ऑफ उड़ीसा एंड ऑल्सो मैनी पार्ट्स ऑफ मैनी पार्ट्स ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश सम पार्ट्स ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ एंड मैनी पार्ट्स ऑफ गुजरात सो दिस एज वी कैन सी ओवर हियर इन दिस विदड्रॉल मैप ऑफ इंडिया दैट द साउथ वेस्ट मानसून हैज विदड्रॉन फ्रॉम मोस्ट पार्ट्स ऑफ नॉर्थ इंडिया एक्सेप्ट ओवर द ओवर मैनी पार्ट्स ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया एंड ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट थ्री डेज the southwest monsoon is likely to withdraw from the remaining parts of the country and along with that with the setting in of easterly and northeasterly winds along the uh, southeast uh, peninsular india coast uh, the uh, northeast monsoon rainfall activity is likely to commence from uh, around 15th of october over tamil nadu and coastal andhra pradesh so here as we can see over here that uh, the velmag low pressure area here we can see over uh, uh, east central arabian see and uh, over over this uh, velmark low pressure area as we can see that uh, a trough is extending from this uh, velmark low pressure area over east central arabian sea to the comorin area across a cyclonic circulation which is extending up to uh, middle tropospheric levels over north interior uh, north interior tamil nadu and uh, uh, which is uh, in fact the cause of the current uh, very heavy rainfall activities uh, uh, being observed over tamil nadu and also we have a a cyclonic Cyclonic circulation over Southeast Bay of Bengal, which was yesterday over Southeast Bay of Bengal and adjoining Equatorial Indian Ocean. So this cyclonic circulation is uh, likely to give uh, rise to a low pressure area by tomorrow, and which will uh, further move west north westwards towards Tamil Nadu coast, and uh, will uh, is is likely to further intensify into a well marked uh, low pressure area. So under the influence of uh, these uh, systems, as we can see that very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall activity is uh, likely to continue over Tamil Nadu uh, uh, till till 17th of October and. also coastal andhra pradesh is likely to receive uh, very heavy rainfall activity from uh, 15th october onwards till 17th of october and also uh, rail sima is uh, likely to receive uh, very heavy rainfall activity from 15th to 17th of october and also uh, uh, on on 17th as we can see over here uh, that isolated heavy rainfall activity is likely over south india karnataka and coastal karnataka and on 17th of october uh, very heavy rainfall activity is likely also over uh, coastal karnataka south india karnataka and kerala on 17th of october and if we uh, look into the other uh, rainfall warning uh, scenario so 
over the extreme southern uh, parts of East Rajasthan, over the districts of uh, uh, Sirohi and Udaipur and uh, Kota etc. Isolated heavy rainfall activities likely today and also over uh, southwest MP isolated heavy rainfall activities likely today uh, uh, including the districts uh, uh, isolated districts of Gujarat as well as Konkan and uh, uh, Madhya Maharashtra and thunderstorm activities also likely over uh, Gujarat and Maharashtra uh, including Marathwada and Madhya Maharashtra and also parts of North India, Karnataka and Telangana uh, and Telangana during next uh, 24 hours and uh, uh, from tomorrow onwards this activity uh, would decrease and the activity would remain focused only over the uh, uh, extreme south peninsular India, uh, the rainfall activity which would be solely due to the, uh, the northeast monsoon uh, activity. So here we can see over here that how the uh, district uh, rainfall uh, warning has been uh, given by India Meteorological Department for uh, the districts of Baptala, Prakasham and Nellore for today and tomorrow the uh, rainfall, heavy rainfall, uh, isolated heavy rainfall activity uh, uh, is uh, likely over the similar districts including the districts of Tirupati, uh, Anamayu uh, and Chittur as well and uh, day after tomorrow that is on 15th of October very heavy rainfall activity is likely over the the districts of Prakasham, uh, Kadappa and uh, Nellore and Tirupati and Anna, uh, Anna Mayu and, uh, and uh, very heavy rainfall activity or the districts of Prakasham, Nellore, Tirupati, uh, Kadappa, uh, Anna Mayu, uh, Chittur and, and Anant, Anantapur and Satya Sai would continue on 16th of October as well uh, uh, and on 17th of October as the system moves, uh, the low pressure area moves further westwards. So the very heavy rainfall activity would remain constrained to the districts of Anantapur and uh, Sri Satyasai and uh, Chittur only. Then if we talk about the Tamil Nadu then uh, today very heavy rainfall activity is likely over uh, the district of uh, Tiruvarur and uh, Pudu uh, and, and the district of Tanjavur and also the district of Theni, uh, Madurai and Virudunagar are likely to receive uh, very heavy rainfall activity and tomorrow uh, on, on, on 14th of October very heavy rainfall activity would uh, uh, further spread into the districts of Villupuram, Kudalur, uh, uh, Perambulur, uh, uh, Ari Arivalur, uh, Maila Dudurai and, uh, and uh, the district of uh, Thiru Thiruvarur, Nagapatnam, Karaikal, uh, Tanjavur and uh, Pudu, Kottai. And on 15th of October, the very heavy rainfall districts are likely to be Thiruvallur, Chennai, uh, Ranipet, uh, Kanchipuram, Chengalputtu, Thiru, uh, Thiru uh, uh, Vannamalai, uh, Villupuram, Puducherry, Kalla, Karisi, uh, Kudalur and on 16th of October the uh, likely very heavy rainfall activity districts are uh, Tiruvallur, Chennai, Ranipet, Kanchipuram, Chengalpattu, uh, Tiruvannamalai, uh, Villupuram and Puducherry and on 17th of October the very heavy rainfall activity is likely to further decrease uh, to just uh, uh, Tiruvallur, uh, Tiruvallur, Ranipet, Vellor and uh, Tirupathur and uh, Krishna Giri. So uh, that was all about the very heavy uh, rainfall activity likelihood over Tamil Nadu and over uh, the uh, uh, south coastal Andhra Pradesh and uh, uh, as far as sea area warning is concerned so fishermen are advised not to venture into the uh, uh, central uh, uh, Arabian Sea especially east central and adjoining west central Arabian Sea and adjoining parts of uh, uh, south Arabian Sea during next uh, two days and, uh, and uh, uh, into, the, into the south east and adjoining southwest Bay of Bengal during next three days and into uh, southeast Bay of Bengal, uh, Comorin area and, and Gulf of Manar during next uh, five days. So that's all for today. Tomorrow we will again meet with Delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next five days. Thank you and goodbye.